Club Express, Configuring Member Types. In this video, we're going to explore how to create and manage the different member types that your club or organization makes available so that people can sign up and renew their memberships. You can have as many member types as you like with different durations and fees. These can include single, family, senior, youth, multi-year, complementary, and many other options. Member types can be for an individual, or it can allow for additional people within the membership. We're already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator. To manage the member types, we start at the Control Panel's People tab, scroll down to the Setup section, and click on Member Types. This screen allows a club or association to define and manage its various membership types. Each membership type has an associated price, duration, and availability. Click the Edit icon to edit properties for a member type. Click the Delete icon to delete a member type. The Delete icon will only appear if the member type is not being used in the database. When you first set up your Club Express website and database, we create a single member type called Member and assign you as the first administrator for this type. You can change the name and any properties of this type, and you can also create as many other member types as you need. To add a new type, click the Add Member Type button. Specify the name and description of the membership type. The name appears in the drop-down list when a member joins, and the description will appear underneath once the type has been selected. Durations are specified in months to allow organizations to specify a full range of dates, including quarterly or multi-year memberships. You can create durations as low as one month, but these short renewal cycles are really only suitable when renewals are set to automatic or automatic with payment, and we'll get to that a little later. If you have lifetime memberships that don't need to renew, you might just set the duration to 240 or some other large number of months. Next, we'll decide who can select this member type. It can be available to both new members and renewals, or to new members only, where this type will not be shown to renewing members. If it's set to renewals only, this type will not be shown to new members. The trial new members only option allows you to create a special membership type for trial memberships. It can have any duration and fee. When a user selects this type, they'll also get a special membership status of trial, allowing you to quickly locate these members. If a trial member logs in, they also see an upgrade membership option. This allows them to renew to a regular membership at any time. Trial memberships cannot be renewed using the same membership type. Users must select one of the other types from a list of available new member member types. A member type can also be available to renewals, same type only. This means that the member type will only be shown to members who already have this type. You use this option to grandfather in longtime members who might have a special deal. And finally, admin only, not publicly available, means that this type will only be shown to admins. And you use this option when a board of directors defines a lifetime membership for people who have provided exceptional service to the organization or if the board wants to grant a complimentary membership, for example, to the editor of a leading magazine within your community. The Renewal option controls how renewals are handled for this member type. The default is to use the settings that are defined on the Control Panel's Renewal Expiration Settings page. However, you can select Automatic Renewals if you want Club Express to renew this member automatically. When you select this option, you'll be asked to specify the number of days before expiration when the renewal should take place. This option was specifically added for community service clubs and any other club or organization that charges a standard fee each month or each quarter. Club Express will generate the standard fee transactions for you, then send members an email letting them know that they should log in to pay the pending renewal transaction. An important note. This option does not automatically charge membership fees to a credit card. Members must still log in to pay the pending charges by credit card, or they can print an invoice and mail a check. And of course, administrators can also print and mail invoices proactively. Next, we'll consider a feature that's not applicable to this demo club, 
so we'll just discuss its behavior here. If you have established your own merchant account for credit card processing, an additional choice called Automatic Renewal and Payment will appear. If enabled, it will renew and charge a member's saved credit card automatically based on the duration of the membership. This option cannot be used in conjunction with the built-in Club Express merchant account because automatic payments can be a significant source of disputes and chargebacks. When this option is selected for a member type, members will sign up as normal and make the initial payment. A credit card is required and will be saved. When the specified duration is passed, the membership will be renewed automatically and the saved credit card will be charged. Emails are then sent to the member as normal. If the credit card transaction fails for any reason, for example, a card expiration or a changed address, the member will be notified and the transaction will remain as pending. Once the bad or missing information is corrected, the updated card will be charged automatically. When members want to stop automatic charges, they log into the website, go to their profile screen, and click the Cancel My Membership button. In the Fee Change field, you can optionally specify a different membership dues amount for expired members. There are three options. None means the same amount is charged whether the member is expired or still active. After expiration date is when a different amount will be charged if the member's expiration date has passed, whether or not the membership is actually expired. The account might still be active due to a grace period. After actual expiration means a different amount will be charged if the member's status is expired. This option is used when you've defined an expiration grace period where the membership status is not changed to expired until some number of days after the expiration date. If a dues change is enabled, you can specify the dues after expiration in the fees section at the bottom of the page, and we'll come to that shortly. If you have previously set up a special menu that this member type is supposed to see when they log in, you can select it here. This feature allows you to define different menus for each member type, or you can use a default menu for all logged in users. A field called Apply Subgroup Fees and its related fields appears only if your organization has subgroups, which might be chapters, districts, and regions, and if you are charging membership dues at these levels. There are three options. Every time is where a fee at each level is charged for each chapter, district, and region that the member joins. For example, if a member joins two separate chapters, he may be charged two chapter fees, two district fees, and two region fees. Once per member is where the fee at each level is charged only once per member. So if a member joins two separate chapters in the same district, he may be charged two chapter fees, but only one district and one region fee. However, if the chapters are in different districts, each district may charge a separate fee. Or once per membership, where the fee at each level is charged only once for the whole membership. For example, in a mother's playgroup, if a membership includes two kids in the same chapter, district, and region, the respective fees are charged only once per family. For well, financial account, select a non-archived financial account to use for this membership revenue. You can select the detail account that you created or the master membership account that's built into the system. And if QuickBooks integration is installed, specify a QuickBooks item name to link this member type to a QuickBooks item when the transactions are exported. The requires approval field is initially set to the default that has been set on the control panel's membership options screen. But this default can be overridden for each membership type. For example, some associations may have a special type for students at a reduced rate, but the member's student status may need to be verified before he or she is allowed to pay this rate. If you specify no, then members can sign up through the website, pay the specified fee, and become active on the spot. If you specify yes, then members can still sign up through the website. However, at the end of the sign up wizard before the payments page, the member is added to the database with the status of prospective. Admins can then view the list and print a report of prospective members for review by the board. You then have the option of accepting the member, which changes their status to pending, and invites the new member to log in and complete the payment, if any, 
which changes the status to active. Or you can decline the application, which changes the status to dropped and sends a regrets email. For newsletters, some clubs are moving to digital newsletters that members read online or download. And if a member wants a printed newsletter, they have to pay extra based on their member type. On the Control Panel's People Options page, you can configure whether members pay extra for a printed newsletter. In the How do you decide which members receive a printed newsletter field, the choices are not applicable to us, by member type, and members specify their choice. Only when the option is set to by member type, a field appears on the member type screen called printed newsletter. Select yes if this member type includes a printed newsletter or no if it does not. If your organization supports subgroups, perhaps regions, districts, and chapters, you can control how many chapters a member can join. Select from one of the following options. None means this type does not allow members to join a chapter. May select only one is where members may select a single chapter, but it's not required. Use this option if you don't have chapters in every part of your service region, so some members must join the top-level club only. Must select only one means members must be assigned to one and only one chapter. They cannot complete the sign-up or renewal process without selecting a chapter. May select one or more means members can select a single chapter or multiple chapters, but they do not have to select the chapter. Must select at least one, may select more means members may select a single chapter or multiple chapters, but they cannot complete the sign-up or renewal process unless they have selected at least one. If this drop-down is in the secondary or tertiary member section, an additional choice, same as primary, appears. This means that the members will be assigned to the same chapter or chapters as their primary member. If your club or association has activated the mobile app, you'll see a Create Channel option, allowing you to automatically create a mobile channel based around this member type. Members who choose this member type will automatically be added to that channel. For secondary and tertiary members, this screen will display the keywords that you have specified on the control panel's club options page. For example, some clubs may refer to secondary memberships as spouse or partner and call tertiary memberships children. Primary members own the account. They can add or remove their own secondary or tertiary members from their profile screen. Secondary and tertiary members, on the other hand, do not see the account management options in their profile screen, nor will they ever be asked to renew. Their membership is entirely dependent on the status of the primary membership. They have the same member type as the primary, and they renew when the primary renews and expire when the primary expires. Secondary members have a login and password and can log into the website to participate in all club activities as members. If this member type includes secondary members, select Yes, then specify the minimum and maximum number of members allowed. Then specify whether secondary members can also join chapters. Tertiary members do not have a login and password and cannot log into the website, but they are included in blast emailings and in mailing lists of active members. When members join your club through their personal lives, tertiary members are appropriate for very young family members that you want to track in the database but don't need the ability to log in. When members join your club through their businesses or professional lives, tertiary members are appropriate for other contacts at a business who might be interested in club activities but who also do not need the ability to log in. So if this member type includes tertiary members, select yes. Specify the minimum and maximum number of members allowed, then specify whether tertiary members can also join chapters. The fees section of this page will be different based on the options selected above and elsewhere. The primary member fee is always shown. If you specify that this fee changes after expiration, an additional field is provided to specify the changed fee. If you enabled secondary and or tertiary members, Fields are provided to specify the fee for each secondary and or tertiary member, 
again using the keywords chosen on the Control Panel's Club Options page. For each of the subgroup levels defined, region, district, and chapter, you can specify whether a fee is charged and who controls this fee. For some clubs and associations, fees are defined at the top level and can't be changed by the individual regions, districts, and chapters. For other clubs and associations, default fees are defined at the top level, but they can be individually adjusted for each region, district, and or chapter. For each member level, primary and optionally also secondary and tertiary, where the chapter selection is set to anything except none, you'll see fields to define separate fees for each organization level. Then click Save to save your changes and return to the Member Types list, or Cancel to cancel without saving. Note that if you have specified fees that are different for each chapter, district, or region, be sure to select the Edit Membership Fees option when you are defining the chapters, districts, or regions. There's also a related thing to consider additional member data questions. Club Express allows you to expand your member database with additional questions that are specific to your organization. One of the options with this feature is the ability to show different questions to each member type. So when a question is created, you can check off which member types will see the question. If you add a member type after your questions have been defined, be sure to revisit the additional member data screen then click the member types for each question that should be enabled for this new member type. Check the appropriate boxes and click Save. Take a look at the Club Express additional member data video for more information. So now you've seen how to create and manage your member types. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.